Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to this presentation of a review of Musk Chef. My name is Rob Evans, and I'm your weight loss coach, health strategist, and internationally published author, helping take your life, your business, your health, fitness, and mindset from where you are right now to where it is that you want to be. And the reason that I'm doing this is that I get a number of questions from my clients about easier meals that they can be consuming. Uh, they don't have the time or the inclination perhaps to be uh, sticking to a meal plan that I might do for them. And Muscle Chef is relatively new on the market um, here in Australia. And I'm getting a, a heap of people that are trying it and wanting to get my perspective. So that's the main purpose of this video. I've gone through the process of ordering meals uh, so that I could try them all myself. And the idea of this is to show, walk you through the whole process from ordering through to uh, what I think is really good, where I think there can be some improvements and give you my overall rating at the, at the end of this video as to whether it's going to be um, suitable for, for you. So let's go and get stuck into it. This is your, your order screen. Um, so before I jump into the ordering, this is the way that the meals will come to you delivered like this in, the, in this packaging. And they're very clearly marked and you'll see in a second, but you can see here that it's got the uh, macronutrients displayed on here, which I really like. It's really clear. Um, and they've got a whole bunch of, uh, you know, different options. So let's jump in. What would you do? I mean, you can go through and you can check out all the different things, the menu and everything, but we're going to jump straight in and do an order. So you get straight into here and um, you can make your choice here. Do you want to do a custom meal plan? You can do muscle gain performance or a calorie controlled one. Now I've done this based on myself, uh, which for me in my training, I'm aiming to gain muscle, uh, which is probably what most of you wanna be doing as well. Um, so I'm just gonna walk through this one, similar concepts apply to these other ones. So let's just click on this and it immediately takes you through here. So it asks you, um, you know, I'm obviously gonna fill this out for me, how many times a week do you work out? So I'm training uh, three times a week with strength training. So I'm just going to click that. And then you've immediately got a, a choice of whether you do five, six days or seven day meals. And so obviously work it out and you can see that there's all right, well, there's 15, 18 or 21 meals. Uh, so for me to start with, what I did was I just did five, five days. So let's just glue, do that and we'll go create plan. And so what it then does immediately, it populates uh, which is pretty cool. It populates day one, day two, et cetera, et cetera, all the way up to day five. Now, let's go through it. Um, so this is working on six meals a day, okay? So you've got a breakfast, say morning tea. Um, you've got, well, actually, it's maybe not working that way. Um, but the, the way that I would do it is a breakfast, morning tea, uh, lunch, afternoon tea, um, evening snack, and then hang on, I've messed that up. Um, breakfast, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, evening snack. Now, the way that they display it here is a little bit different to the way that uh, I would normally be eating it. With my meal plan that I'm following at the moment, I do I eat five times a day. So what I did was for my first meal, I added in breakfast. So I'm just going to click on that. And I took out the snacks uh, because I do my own. I do smoothies and stuff. Um, so then this is uh, more typical to the way that I'd be eating. So I'd be having um, breakfast. Yeah, I would, would have a morning uh, tea like this. My lunch, I would have maybe a salad or something like this. I'd move this one forward. And then this one is what I would have for dinner. And so that's the way that I would do it. So you can see how easy it is. You can just quickly add those things in. I'll leave that one in for now. And so you can see what's good here. You've got obviously got a bit of a visual for it. You can see the weight. You can see the protein and calories and so forth. So 600 calories, 589, 526, 385. Uh, now, for me, I'm normally eating around four to 500 calories uh, per meal. Um, so it's pretty close. Um, you've got 27 grams of protein here, 55 grams, 42, 37. So it does vary a little bit. But let's just say that... Uh, you don't want this particular meal. So you can click on here and it will take you to everything. Let's just say, so you can scroll through and you can see here's every single recipe that they have. I think there's about 50 in here. I'm not going to stop and, and look at them, but let's just say that, okay, we want to put this one in instead. Um, you can click on it. You can see everything that's in it, close it. 
and just add it to my meal. I'll go back here and you'll see that it's automatically added it in there. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, and you can see that one has uh, got, hasn't put up the, the, um, the macronutrients there, but obviously you can see that from the previous, previous view. Um, so pretty cool. So you can just go through and you can modify everything that you need to through there. You can see that most of the meals are somewhere between like breakfast, uh, you know, around the $8 mark. This is Australian dollars. And the main meals are between nine to maybe 10. Like here's a, one that's a little bit dearer, uh, but nine to $10 per meal. Um, so it gives you a running total down here. So let's just say that um, you added in the snack and it adds in one snack and you can see that it automatically takes up the, the price. If we add in two snacks, it adds in another one and that gives you everything that you would want. Now, depending on what it is that you're doing for your, your training, I'm gonna take the snacks out and take out breakfast for right now. Uh, the extra snacks, these meals might seem a little bit heavy for you. So they might not necessarily be suitable um, for you, but you can see it's pretty pretty easy process um, to go through. So some of the things that I like about this, uh, the ease of ordering, really straightforward, because all you do is then just add your cart and you check out. So I won't work through that process, but very straightforward, just like you would do any online shopping. I like the fact that they're high protein. So a lot of the pre-packed, pre-ordered meals that you get these days don't have the, uh, the higher volume of protein that these meals do. Um, so that's really good. The other thing that I like is that it's easy to see the nutrition details. So very easy, very clear. You can get a, a very clear picture of what you, your macros are, what your calories are. Now, I would suggest that this site is going to be more for the person that is more serious about their training. And I would expect that you'd have more understanding of some of your macros and what it is that you would bring be requiring to take on board. Um, so this makes it really, really simple. And when you get the packaging, it's really, like I showed you at the beginning, really clear, really straightforward. You can flip it over, you can see all the ingredients there. And I think that's a, another really cool uh, feature. Um, I wanna talk about when the delivery comes. Uh, so when it arrives, you do need to check if you want it tomorrow, then that's not gonna happen. Mine took, uh, because of where I live, I think it was about three to four days from the time I placed my order to when the delivery arrived. So it is what it is. And then you can pick a subscription, whether you do it weekly, whether you do it fortnightly, whether you do it monthly, or whether you're just doing it as a one-off. Um, so again, that's pretty good. And then it will always be delivered on that same day. So for me in my area, they're delivered on a Wednesday. Uh, so when it arrives, it comes all in a box. They'll leave it at the front door, uh, knock on your door. If you're not home, they'll leave it somewhere safe. Now, what was cool about this, when you open it up, it's all completely encapsulated in um, a highly insulated um, silver lining. It's like glued together. You pull it apart. It's got two really big reusable ice blocks in there. And so the food comes out, it's cool were cold and the other thing that i like is the technology that's used it's, it's pretty high tech in terms of it's vacuum sealed it will last for don't quote me here but i think it's a about 14 days in the fridge so it's fresh it's not frozen and that's another big plus because a lot of these pre-packed foods are frozen you can lose some of the flavor. A lot of people don't like that frozen stuff. Now with these ones, I didn't actually have room for, um, I got four meals. Um, I didn't have room for 20 meals in my free fridge. So I put some in the, most of them in the fridge and some in the freezer. Uh, so um, I just thought it was really efficient. There was no paperwork or anything like that in there as well. So I was thinking about the environment. So obviously the, um, the cardboard boxes are recyclable. The ice packs that they use is all recyclable uh, as well in terms of, you know, wash it and reuse it. They're high quality. Um, and also the packaging that comes in, that's recyclable as well. The cardboard sleeve, the plastic uh, that goes over the top of it's not, but the plastic bowl um, container is. So I really enjoyed 
that part. In terms of heating it, it's 90 seconds in the microwave and it's ready to eat. From frozen, it's about five minutes depending on the meal. Uh, so some really, really cool things there that I thought for me stood out as being, okay, this is a little bit different. When you do order, you order obviously like this and you see day one, day two, and then when you get your your, your box arrive, I was expecting to see what all of my uh, menu looked like, but it wasn't there. But what you can do is you can log back into uh, up the top here. You can sign into your account and you can just easily see, okay, what was I having on day one again? Because you just get all the meals together. They're not done in, this is all day one packaged together. This is all day two packaged together. So you do have to refer to that, but a really simple uh, to do. The other thing that I really liked about this, I thought I would test out the customer service because uh, I think it's just part of the experience. So I sent them an inquiry about, let's just pick this meal. And I said, oh, uh, no, we'll pick this one because it's got it here. Uh, it says 42 grams of protein. And I just inquired and said, oh, I'm just not sure that there is 42 grams of protein. I said, look, you need this much in, um, you know, weight in terms of uh, getting that much protein. And I sent them a few more questions. Now within, I think it was about 24 hours, they responded to me with a really, really detailed response. And I was really impressed with that. So I gave them a, a five-star rating for their uh, customer service on that point. So really good. So now they're all the really great points about this. I mean, they taste great, it's convenient, it's easy, um, looks really good. Now, let me talk about where I think there could be some improvements, certainly based on the way that I, I eat and the way that I live. It would be nice to be able to order by a protein quantity because on some of the meals, if I go to one of these days, you can see we've got 40 grams here, we've got 44, and here we've got 65 grams of protein. That's a fairly big variation from 40 to 65 across the day. This one's fairly close. Now for me, the way that I'm very specific about the way that I eat. So right now with my training, I consume, I'm a smaller guy, I'm like I'm, I'm 166 centimeters tall. I weigh about just under 70 kilos. Um, so for me, my training right now, I take in 40 grams of protein for every single meal that I consume at the moment. That includes my snacks. So when I first ordered, obviously you're getting a wide variation, but I wanted to do that so that I could just see, okay, how is this working? And so I think it would be good to be able to order by protein quantity. So if I want to put in, you know, create my order based on 40 grams of protein, then it would just automatically do this based on that. It would be a simple thing for them to change. Um, and that would be a handy feature that I would get value out of. The other one is that most of their meals have high energy food. So you can see this one's got rice, this one's got potatoes. Uh, this one has got black rice, I think. Um, this one's got rice, this one's got hockey noodles, this one's got rice in it. Um, and the way that I personally train is I don't need any high energy things like your, your rice breads, pastas, grains, etc., potato, outside of my workouts. So what I did for my second order, because I'm ordering again, I've gone through and I've picked out all those meals that don't have the high energy food in it. Now that took me probably about 20 to 30 minutes to be able to do that. Now they've got about 50 meals. I think there's a, I don't know, only about 10 or so that don't have high energy food in there. Uh, why do they do that? Well, one, you know, they might be creating these as performance foods. They might be, uh, you know, it's just a cheaper ingredient to put in and fill out a meal, uh, whether that's their, you know, their logic or not, but that's the way that I look at it. And uh, for me, I would like some more meals in there that don't have high energy, but I've put together a plan for five days, uh, three meals a day um, for my next order. And we'll see what that's, that's like. The other thing that is particularly noticeable for me in missing is the volume of vegetables. There's just not enough veggies in here. So you can see here, this has got some beans, it's got some um, mashed pumpkin, it's got some mashed potato as well. Um, this, sorry, that's, um, that's a dressing, not mashed potato. So you've only got two veggies in there. This one, you've got some mash, you've got some peas. Uh, this one, there's a few more things, uh, but I found that I was still hungry. 
for I tried the first couple as they were and just not enough plant-based food in there for me. So what that means is that I just um, use a microwave. I put in some, uh, you know, some frozen mixed veggies, a couple of cups, and I add it to these meals. That's what I need in order to get, I guess, my nutrient requirements and just to fill me up. Otherwise, I was finding that I was really searching for that next meal pretty quickly because there just wasn't enough plant-based food. So that was the other one. Overall, I think this could work for many people. Um, I've been eating the same way for about 10 years, putting in some different meals. And to be honest, I was surprised at the flavor with the food. I was surprised at um, the quality of the meals. And it really was like having a holiday. Every meal was different and uh, tasted really great. Overall, though, with those improvements that I think that they could make, I would rate this as a four and a half out of five for me. I think if you are really stressed for, for time, pressured for time, you don't have the motivation to cook, you're not a good cook, you're in a, a space where you don't have a good kitchen set up or that kind of thing, and all you've got is a microwave and a fridge and a few other bits and pieces, then I'd say this is a really good option for you to consider. Some of the supermarkets do stock some of these meals. So if you wanted to try a couple, you could, uh, but give it a go. It may just suit you. Before doing any of this, I think the one thing to consider is right here. This says goal-based plans. Before you order any of these meals, I think it's really crucial to work out. So what, what's your goal? What are you trying to do here in having your meals prepared for you? Um, you can see here that, for instance, there's over the side here, there's some vegan ones, there's some low carb ones, a keto friendly, uh, you know, low calorie ones, etc. I think what I find is important when I'm working with my clients, I want to empower people to be able to do these things for themselves, not rely on other people doing the, the meals, so that they can really appreciate the work that needs to go into it, but also they know exactly what's going in. To these things as they're making them the, these meals they have a lot of flavor more flavor than i'm used to in my meals but really really quite nice um, don't just go out and try it willy-nilly you do have to have a plan like if you're going to do this are you going to be more focused with your training is this going to make you more accountable to your coach to what it is that you're achieving because without those things you'll just find that you're consuming food uh, you might feel better you might even, depending on which one you pick, you might actually put on some kilos in a way that you don't think is supporting you and your right goal. Because you can see if you ordered four meals and a 500 calories and uh, you know, that's all you're eating, then that's going to give you around 2,000 calories a day. Now, if you're on a weight loss plan that needs around 1,200 calories, then obviously that's not going to support you in a positive way. So you'd need to you know, just pick the appropriate plan for you. But it's a good option for you, but you must have a goal going in. Hope this has been useful for you. Good job, my muscle chef. I think you're doing a great job. I think there's a couple of improvements there that I'd recommend, but good job.